This video is all about winter with a whipping. Oh, it's a lovely fresh morning. Don't know if you can see that, but it's a full moon over there. It's just after six o'clock in the morning. We're doing our usual walk with Louis. So we thought we'd put this video together to talk about living with a whippet through winter. And winter in the UK usually starts around November time. And of course, in the UK, we have bonfire night. And as you'll see from this video, that Louis is not a fan of bonfire fireworks. He doesn't mind the bonfires, but he doesn't like the fireworks. It's okay, Louis. It's okay. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Oh, it's okay. You'll be all right, Louis. We want to stay away from giving him sedatives. So we just try to keep him quiet as comfortable as possible. Give him somewhere a bit dark to hide away. Give him loads of cuddles and try to keep him busy. And then on the weekend of the bonfire night, we managed to uh, go with some friends and lots of other dogs to a friend's place who has got a small paddock and a little campsite. We could have a big fire party. The dogs were free to run around and just have a great time away from the noise of the fireworks. Lou is well wrapped up with his snood on and his jacket and his flashing lights. These two flashing lights we have here, one's a collar and the other one's a Velcro strip. Just gives you some idea where he is when he's running about in the dark, particularly at the party. It's really dark on the field this morning. Ooh, and muddy. It was supposed to be freezing this morning, but it hasn't happened. Lovely full moon though. And Louis, if you can see him, he's just ready for Chase's ball. There he goes, flashing off in the distance. But we always bring a torch with us as well. So we know where he is, what he's doing, and of course you can uh, use it to pick up the poo. Hey! Is that good, Lou? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Whoa! It's one of my favourite times of the day, this. Being up early in the morning, all year round. You get a bit more of a lion in winter. Nice to be out there when the sun comes up. And he just loves his runs. So we've got the field to ourselves. As well as the flashing lights on his coat and his collar, he has got fluorescent strips on his harness and on the neck of his jacket as well. Here, Lou. Lou, what's this? <laughs> Are you ready? And as I've said before, because that jacket made by Snap Togs is made by people who understand whippets, he can run he can walk in it for long distances and there's no rubbing and it keeps him lovely and warm <laughs> and then the snood with it keeps his neck warm it does go over his ears but uh, he's not a fan of that <laughs> are you alright Lou? are you ready? are you ready? this is the fluorescent velcro strap that Louis wears on his harness and it's just big enough to fit on the handle on his rough wear harness. And they're about seven pound. I got that from pets at home. And then for about nine pound, there's this collar. And we don't actually use it as a collar. We don't put the lead on it. But uh, inside there, there's a fluorescent strip. And that's the collar that we was using. And that flashes. You can't see it very well in the daylight, but uh, it's quite bright in the night. But the interesting thing is they're about £9 and they're about £7. You can buy these which are almost the same but these are for running. And these are just long enough. They do them in different sizes. This is a medium size and this is just long enough to velcro around Louis's neck. And it's the same piece of kit. You get one, two, three, four, five, you get six of them. So these are very, very similar. They've actually got the same mechanism in as this uh, dog collar lead. And you can get a pack of six of these. They do come in different colours off Amazon 
for um, about £10.50, I think they are. But they certainly do the job. So you can save yourself some money there and get at, uh, six for the price of one, really. Well, Louis, you're all snuggled up in your fancy snap dogs jacket. You've got your flashing lights on. <laughs> We're taking you away, aren't we? To get away from the fireworks. We're off to a friend's house to have a big fire, a bit of a party, but no fireworks. And loads of dogs for you to run about all night. Are you looking forward to that? Hey? Do you want to see Merlin? Maisie? No? <laughs> Having a campsite with a party paddock that the dogs can run about in, away from all the fireworks. What more could you ask for? Hey Lou! spot here Louie. Ideal to get you away from the fireworks wasn't it? <laughs> Like most whippets and mainly interested in bad cold weather of laying on a nice comfy bed in front of the fire or the radiator you're not fussed are you Louie? Hmm? you're not a fan of winter really are you whippets don't carry a lot of fat with them so they get really cold in the winter so to keep your whippet warm you need a good coat don't you hmm? yes no you're not jumping off Stay there a minute. So this is one of Louis's favourite coats. And it's waterproof and fleece lined. And it's made... Is it like... Is it like... Made by a company that have whippets called Snap Togs. And as you see, it fits him round his chest, round his belly to keep him warm. And then he's got these flanks that go on the back legs to keep the back a bit more and that fits really nice under his harness he also can wear a snood <laughs> he's not keen to have it over his ears but he can wear a snood as well to keep his neck warm so that's like his winter wear so the party we was at with the fire this is what he wore 
all night catching lovely and warm while he was running around with his harness on. Now this one, I know it's really mucky and he looks like a French protester, but just to show you, this is the one he tends to wear if he's going to go running in a muddy field. <laughs> As you'll see, the straps don't really fit properly underneath them. Now I've had to alter them anyhow to get them to smell like. It doesn't cover the back of him at all. It doesn't cover the back of it, his legs. There's no protection underneath. So it doesn't really do a good job. It's got a fluorescent strip on it and it keeps a bit of water off his back. But mainly his harness covers that. And if you buy a bigger version of this, it's too big. So you really need to get a jacket that's designed for a whippet. And the other thing Louis has, stay there. And this is another snap togged one. This is his fleece. He wears this for work in the winter. If it gets really, really cold and we go walking, you might wear this underneath his big jacket. So if you see, good boy, that covers his bum as well. So Louis classed as a medium sized whippet. So you can get small, medium and large whippet clothing. But they're all the measurements on all the websites what sell whippet clothing. So you can measure the length of the back, how high they are and the length of the neck as well. And this one comes with another snood. There you go. Keeps you warm, doesn't it, Lou? Hey. It was made by one of our viewers, Kaz, and she made this for Louie. And considering she had no measurements to work to, just what she's seen on the video once she's met Louie, I think she's done a really good job. That's fleecy lined and it's got waterproof material on as well. It's got his name on the back and she managed to print a one man in his whippet sticker. <laughs> Still sniffing the camera Louis. But as you see again, it covers the front of him. There's a bit of protection underneath and it covers the back legs but there's nothing here underneath the chest. So it's a bit of a compromise. You don't want it to rub against him. You want him to be warm when he's walking and keep the rain off him. And the final one, which isn't for a whippet, but we certainly thought it was really nice when he was working as a therapy dog at work. This is his life saving hoodie. Hmm? You looking there? <laughs> and this one? Hmm? There you go. Don't scratch the table. Good boy. And that's a bit small for him really. But he tends to wear that in work. And as you see it's not made for a whippet, so it's too short at the back again. Long skinny dog, don't you? You get your hoodie. You are a poser. Now this torch we're using is uh, from Olight. I've already done a review of this, but I'll talk a bit more about it later on in the video. But all I have uh, got a Black Friday sale. And this is the Baton 2, just like a thousand lumens. And it's just brilliant for this. You don't have to have it on the strongest setting. You can have it on the mid setting, which this is on. And it's totally rechargeable. And it's small enough to clip on the lead, which I'll show you later on. And as part of the promotion, They've given us another one to give away. I'm sorry everybody outside the UK, but this is only people in the UK because it's a UK promotion again. But there is an opportunity to win one of these. And with the promotion and the, and the giveaway, you get a small keyring torch as well. Shall we go get breakfast? Good boy. These are the torches that uh, Olight have sent me to do a quick promotion on about their Black Friday giveaway where they're offering 30% on their website off their torches. Um, but I've got a giveaway for these. I'm sorry, but it's only for people in the UK again, because it's another UK promotion. So with the Black Friday discount of 30%, 
and the giveaway that I'm doing, you get this free little torch with it as well. It's not rechargeable, but you just literally twist it. It gives quite a bright light. That's just a little extra as part of that. And then I will be giving away one of these to one of our subscribers that live in the UK as part of the promotion from Olight again. So when you get these, um, it comes with its rechargeable magnetic clip, which are really good. And this fits into any USB. And what I do with this torch is that when I get back from taking Louis for a walk, I plug it in and recharge it. But they're very robust, they're waterproof, they come with clips on them, you can drop it. It's been dropped various times. It's a very good piece of kit, as everything is from Olight. But I quite like this one as well, just to put on the key ring. You get a little bag with it, and you get a second clip, a slightly smaller clip if you don't want the bigger clip on the actual torch catcher comes with it as well. But they're super bright, and I think they're just over a thousand lumens that you get with this. And there's different um, settings, obviously you don't need it on full all the time. This green one's a limited edition, I think they do them in red as well, but the standard ones are black. There's a load of spec on there, you can freeze this if you want to read the spec, but in the description below I'll put all the stats and the discount codes and links to their website and everything about it. But yeah, it's another great giveaway. I love Olight torches. Um, I'll probably end up with the full set eventually, hopefully. <laughs> um, and it's I just use them separately for different things. So I have a, a bigger torch that I use when I go camping. I have the head torch that I used when I went caving. I've got another one of these that I used as a backup torch when we went to Scotland. This one I use on Louis lead and when we go out in the morning. And now we've got this new edition one that I'll go onto my key ring top quality pieces of kit so if you want one of these usual thing you need to be a subscriber and in the comments below this video you need to put in there that uh, you want one and I'll randomly pick somebody and we'll send that name that person's name and address off to Olight and they distribute them themselves um, to the winner and you'll get a torch the same as this and you'll get a miniature torch to go with it and if you want to buy one, um, Black Friday, which is the 28th of November, um, they're having a sale where you can buy their torches with 30% off and they do this promotion um, where you get the little torch with it as well. This is the lead I use with Louis all the time. We've actually got three of these. They're known as a police training lead. I'll put in the description below all the information about this and the links to them. But it shows you all the different configurations. Because it has these different D loops on here. There's three of them and a clipper on each end. You can use it in all different sort of configurations. You can double loop it and you can clip it around your waist. And what I tend to do is when I'm out in the hills walking with Louis, so I don't have to have the lead in my hand all the time. I'll clip that onto Louis's harness and then this one, this leads long enough to actually clip onto the shoulder strap or the waist strap of my rucksack. It keeps your hands free, you can take photographs and you're not having to hold the lead all the time. But the other thing I really like about this, and particularly in the winter, is with this torch from Olight, these clips on them are really, really strong. And they do come with this detachable lanyard. So I loop this through here. A real simple knot, I call that a lark's foot or just a thread. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I call it. So it's just slip through there. And then I take this strong clip they have on the torch and I clip this into here. So what I've got then is when I'm taking Louis out in the morning, I don't have to have three hands. I can hold the lead or loop it through my wrist. I can have a spare hand to pick up the poo. And the torch is fastened on here. The switch is on the side, which makes it nice and easy. It's just a press. And um, you don't have to have a hand for the torch, hand for the lead, and then the spare hand to pick up the boot. So these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I love the way they fit on here. But I think that works on there really well. And you can drop the lead. And I clip the lead around my shoulder. Um, when I take Louis off and it's still in a good position to actually use it while it's fastened to the lead 
and it stops you losing it and stops you forgetting to actually take the torch with you in the morning as well. And then when you come back, it just clips on there, you don't have to take it off the lead, plug that into a USB or a telephone charger or something. This actually lights up red if it needs charging. And when it's fully charged, this piece here lights up green. So that is a really nice little setup for taking the dog for a walk in the winter. Um, or if you're uh, even in the summer on a dark night, you can have that clipped on there all the time or clip it on as you're out and about. But I love these leads, they're really good. As I say, we must have about three of these now.